It's Wise Guy Wednesday. We've rolled up our sleeves, taken off one of my rings so I can stick my fingers into this stuff. We were playing with it during the break, and you promised the coolest stuff ever, and I think... This is it. And it's called Ublek? Ublek, yeah, after a Dr. Zeus story. I don't know where that name actually came from, but it, it's a good name for it because it's weird. It's sort of Dr. Zeusy stuff. And by the way, I didn't show you last time. Here's all the stuff that we made. It's the slime. So I'll just leave that here for you guys. Well, thanks. And, yeah, so you can, you can play with it later. So this stuff, the slime was chemistry, remember. We had this right. long polymer, and we poured in this other borax stuff, which welded the little molecules together and trapped the water inside, and you got this slimy stuff. This is nothing like that. This is just physics. What I've done here is I've taken some water, and I've mixed into it some cornstarch. Just the That's all it is? That's all it is, is water and cornstarch. Wow. And you should do this at home <clears throat> if you haven't already. You'll notice something right away when you start to mix this, and you have to put more cornstarch in than that. It, it kind of lumpy feeling when you mix it, but as it turns out, once you get a, a thick mixture after having poured it for a while, <clears throat> it has an amazing property, and I have it right here. Okay, so you put quite a lot of the cornstarch, a little bit of water, <clears throat> and now just try, try this for me. Stick your finger in there very, very slowly. Move it very, very slowly around and pull it out very, very slowly. That has a sort of consistency of buttermilk or something, right, doesn't yes, it? Right, yes. Okay. Thick. Now, take your finger and just whack the surface. <laughs> Robert steps back. It's hard, it isn't is. it? <clears throat> so this stuff is what we call a non-Newtonian liquid. The viscosity of this stuff depends on how fast you try to move through it. So if you move very, very slowly, it's completely liquid. If you move quickly, like whacking it, you, it gets very solid. It turns into basically a solid. If you, if you were here and you did this, and you'll do this at home, stick your finger in very quickly. You don't touch the bottom if you move your hand That's right. Fast. You don't. Not at all. It's really amazing. If you hit it with a force much stronger than we're able to, would it actually turn hard like this would? Or? Not quite as hard, I don't think, but it, it certainly becomes more of a solid than, than a liquid oh, yeah, very, for, for just a second. And... The way this stuff works is kind of interesting, and, and the, the way I like to think of it is kind of the following. By the way, this is how quicksand works. And this is also the stuff that if you can get into a ball, put it in your hand, it will just melt out of your Yeah, hand. yeah, so you can pick this up and go slap, and then it just, it just becomes yeah. buttermilk again. So it's like quicksand, and, and you know if you fall into a big pool of quicksand, which we probably aren't going to do anytime probably soon. Here, right. no. <clears throat> I didn't like it when I did it. Right. <laughs> but you got out, and yeah. probably what you did then was that you just let yourself, you didn't move quickly, you just floated to the top. And if you don't move quickly in quicksand, it's like water. But if you struggle and move fast, it becomes very hard, and you sort of pull yourself underwater, which is why people sink in quicksand. Mm -hmm. Okay. So <clears throat> this stuff is it's called a colloidal suspension. These little molecules, or these little chunks of cornstarch are like little, think of sand that a bucket of sand that you pour some water into, okay? If you, it's very full of sand and it, <clears throat> the water kind of makes the, the, the sand uh, particles slide around each other, but if you hit it very hard, the water gets squished out from between them and right. they stick together. So that's what this stuff is. You have made two of the coolest things ever. This two time. of the that's coolest right. things ever. And for next week, we're gonna mix together water and oil and some uh, uh, food coloring, and I want people to explain what happens when you do that. It's actually okay. more interesting than you would think. It's like well, salad drink. Well, you go to our website, WCIA.com, click on the morning show icon, and that will take you to The Wise Guy, or you can email him directly. There's the link there, wiseguy at uiuc.edu.